Hi, welcome to Bake Bites, I'm Maria and today I'm going to show you how to turn the classic meringue tart into a cake. Doesn't that sound amazing? Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Anyway, that's enough talking, let's get decorating. Caster sugar, cream of tartar, egg whites, water and vanilla extract. For all the quantities, you will find them in the description box below. In your stand mixer, add in all your ingredients and give it a quick whisk to combine. Pop your bowl over a pot of simmering water. You don't want the water to touch the bottom of your bowl. With your hand whisk, whisk it continuously until the mixture is warm and you can't feel the sugar when rubbed between your fingers. Take it off the heat and pop it in your stand mixer and whisk it on high for 7 minutes. The mixture will appear nice and glossy with a beautiful stiff peak. Perfect. With a little bit of meringue frosting on the board, place your first layer of cake. Make sure it's centered. Now, with your meringue in a piping bag, pipe a layer of meringue on your cake. Then create a dam to fill with delicious lemon curd. Repeat this process with all your cake layers. Grab your trusty offset spatula again and apply your frosting around the cake. It really doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to cover the cake layers. Now, you can go crazy with any design you like here, but what I've done is using my spatula, drag the frosting up the side of the cake to give it some texture. Then using a cake comb that has a zigzag edge, smooth it around the cake. I went back with my offset spatula again to give it a more defined vertical look. To finish her off on top, I piped some lemon curd and meringue swells. Then take your blowtorch and carefully caramelise the meringue. Mmm, smells so good. Yum. How yummy does this cake look? And that torch meringue really makes me so happy. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And let me know down below what you want to see in future episodes. Until then, I'll see you next week. See ya.